Well, today I'm so excited because in this episode, I have Fatima here, who is a mommy of four children, and she is about six months postpartum now, and she just finished my 90-day tummy warrior coaching program, which is a program for moms with diastasis. So I'm so happy to have her to come in here on my podcast here today and give you some feedback and tips and maybe some encouragement for you for the moms who might not know what diastasis is or might be wondering what this pooch is all about. And maybe they're thinking of joining my program and just not sure if this is the right thing for you to do. So I have Fatima here and she's going to talk about her experience. She's going to talk about some of her favorite things that she enjoyed in the program. So I'm going to have Fatima here. Fatima, thank you. So good to have you. Hi, it's really nice to be here. I would like to tell you a little about myself. Like Becky said, I'm a mom of four and I'm six months postpartum right now. But regarding diastasis, I would like to tell you a bit of my story, how I figured out I had diastasis, because I think this is something which is not commonly known to everyone. I'd like to say that when I had my second baby, I knew there was something wrong with me. I just had lost the feeling of being full. I don't know if it's, it sounds weird and I don't even know if it's related to diastasis, but I researched and I don't know, somehow I landed onto this topic. I thought I'd give myself some time to recover and it will get better. For three years, I battled with weakness in my core. Like I couldn't lift up my children with ease and this irritable feeling that I had lost my sense of being fullness when I ate. So this was something I was battling with after I had my second baby. Me and my husband would often debate that he would take me to the gym and keep the children with him. But I knew that was impossible because I don't know what I would do if I went to the gym. And with the children, my husband, I don't think he would have the time or energy to deal with the kids. So my third baby came and I used to wonder why I was still looking so pregnant. I thought I would heal and my body would get back to normal like it did in the previous two. But in a year, my fourth baby came as a surprise. And this time, because of the pandemic, I was alone in my pregnancy and also during and after baby's birth. This was really challenging to not get help. Two months after, I was in a devastating situation. I had developed a very bad back pain and I would not move much, let alone take my baby out of the crib. And worse, I was having a queefing problem like anything. This is TMI, sorry. But I really want to put this out there. If you're facing the same thing, maybe you can relate. I was devastated. I wanted to see a physio, but I could not get an appointment or recommendation. And I couldn't take all four children with me every time. It was a struggle to go anywhere. I'm not currently living in my home country. So this was also an added challenge to see the right doctor to make the right diagnosis. I will tell you, I started experimenting with food to see what was the cause of all this queefing and this bloatedness and gas to the point that I stopped eating. I would just munch onto something and when I felt hungry, I would eat a bit and that's it. Now, when I look back, I know I was falling into postnatal depression. Fast forward here, after completing my tummy warrior program with coach, or as I like to call her on a lighter note, Sensei Becky, I had severe diastasis, which is reduced to half. And even though the gap isn't completely closed, I'm happy to get back to normalcy because I can do things I couldn't do for the longest time. As a bonus, I lost 26.4 pounds in three months and six inches or so on my waistline, which still seems delusional, feels like a dream. This was not even my plan, but of course, after joining and becoming so fit, I think this is a bonus. The fact that I was already doing exercises from YouTube with no result, or it felt like something is missing, I'll tell you the reason why I joined the program. I was doing exercises from YouTube and I always felt that something was missing before prior to joining Becky's program. I thought it would be great to have someone teach me the correct way of doing them who has actually been in my shoes. And 30 minutes or so a day is time I need to take out for myself. That didn't seem like a big deal to me. Also, the added luxury of doing it when I have time and from the comfort of my own home gave me the hope in this program. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Fatima, for sharing that. And wow, I didn't realize you lost 26.5 pounds in total. That's about three months, right? Yeah. That's the length of the program. That's amazing. And also, I didn't remember or didn't realize that you had the postnatal depressions. I did have a couple of clients who were a little bit depressed. And because of the exercise, it dragged them out of that depression because they have something to look forward to. Is that your case? That's exactly my case, because I wasn't even realizing it. Now, when I look back, I think that this perhaps is the most best decision I made for myself, because 
my fourth baby was a surprise and we were not planning. And now I can enjoy my family time. And I was about to join the program. I believe my husband was more skeptical than me, which I found out when he told me later after I completed my program. I was so desperate at that time. And he was like, okay, let's do this and I'll support you. But after when we completed the program, he told me the truth that he wasn't really sure whether I should join the program. And he was like, you will do this from home. I mean, how can you do it? And when actually I completed the program, I got the best compliment ever from him <laughs> after so many years. And he told me that it's like I time traveled back, which is creepy and amazing at the same time. <laughs> So the best part of this program is I'm like, I'm so comfortable and happy in my own skin now. It's a revelation to me. I mean, this program has brought so many revelations to me. For example, take it, I never knew that veggies could be a better substitute for carbs and you could last the whole day by eating veggies. I mean, it feels so energetic. And the fact that I can take out so much time for myself, I mean, even 30 minutes I can take out for myself and my whole day would be filled with pleasure because it was something I did for myself. I'm a class A type personality. I like having things in order and doing, you know, all the time I'm on my feet. So without compromising my family time and doing something for myself, I really have a good feeling with, with so much strength now. This is something that has brought so much happiness in my life right now. I could just go on and on. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I am humble, really, to listening to your mm -hmm. results and, you know, your journey. Do you remember the starting points of your the start diastasis gap and the depth? Yeah, the gap was around the belly. It was four fingers wide. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, even above the belly, it was also four fingers wide. And uh, the depth was, if I remember correctly, it was uh, around 1.5 to 2 yeah, knuckles deep. Okay. Honestly, it was so deep. I mean, I yeah. couldn't even properly measure yeah, like if you sink in your fingers, it feels like it's going to disappear, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And what about now? And now it's, I can measure it correctly. And the belly area is two fingers wide now. And the upper one is also two fingers wide now. And mm -hmm. it's around like, I think half, yeah, a nail deep. Wow, from two, yeah. almost two knuckles to a nail deep. That's pretty much a heel diastasis there. Yeah, One to two yeah. fingers, a nail, nail deep, it's nothing. Now there's so much more if you're husband wants to go to the gym with you you can really go with him and do yeah. all of that stuff with him together as a couple right yeah <laughs> that's great so what were can you name maybe like two or three things that your most favorite like your most favorite things about this program or working with me personally and I thought I would be on the floor and doing those exercises pretty easy ones as the program progressed I'm just amazed at what pro uh, like so many parts of uh, areas of improvement they were in my body and like my posture, my eating habits. There are so many things that have improved now. The program is very nice. I mean, like it encompasses so many things that improve you overall. The program is very nice. That's one thing that I would say about the program. With regards to the coach, of course, there are some things that I really enjoyed. The fact that when Coach Becky watches you like a hawk, when she watches you, she watches you <laughs> like a hawk. And she can spot your areas of improvement and... Yeah, she spots your areas of improvement and gives you exercises accordingly. And she keeps you accountable and she respects your privacy and wishes. And the best part is to all the ladies who, who are listening, I can say that she's been there and she's done all that. So this is one thing you can rely that program is really good and the coach is there to help you. Thank you. And that leads me to the last question for you then. What would you say to other moms who are on the fence of joining a program or my program. Yes, to any moms who are listening, if you are facing diastasis or any of the issues that come with it, why not reach out and take this program as a help, as something to invest in yourself so that you can give back to your family and eventually yourself. I remember one late night I was doing Becky's workout and she just randomly spoke her heart out saying, sometimes we go through challenges so that we can give back to our experiences. That really touched me. And that night, I really knew that I had found the right program and sensei to help me. Because if I hadn't, right now, I would have probably been a mess and joined a different program to counter postnatal depression and anxiety. So I think if you're thinking, if you know you have diastasis, I think this is the best plan to reach out right now. Because it's designed to help moms like us who are at home and progress to exercises and other things so that we can feel better and feel more stronger. Thank you so much, Fatima. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast. 
your words of wisdom and your experience now that you have been through this journey you really can relate to where you were in the beginning and i'm really humbled to have you here sharing with everybody and congratulations on your success i wish you you know happy and be that positive role model for your four children i'm sure you're busy they keep you on the toes all the time but now you can actually have fun and enjoy chasing after them and do all these family activities right Yes, it's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. So for, um, yeah, so for for those who are listening and might be interested in reaching out to me, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram at Becky Choi underscore. You can chat with me. I don't take everybody, but I'll see, you know, where your situation is at and really give you that, map you that plan, whether, you know, my program or something else would be more suitable for you. I'll link all the links here in the show notes below and talk to you in the next episode. Thank you.